number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, did your 2023 bingo cards have the thoughts versus the bots? Because my 2023 bingo cards did not have thoughts versus the bots. I saw this story and I kind of laugh and I kind of shudder and I'm kind of happy and I'm kind of scared and what is the world coming to? AI is going to put the OnlyFans girls out of business? Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the clown world. I hope that you are having a fantastic time, and I will be your host for this edition of What in the World is Going On. So, I came across this story uh, listening to some podcasts this last week, and essentially what's happening is AI images and AI creations out there are being, and well, just AI in general, is being blamed for putting out images of uh, some, some ladies dressing dressed in bikinis online and then obviously showing off the goods. And then there have been other horrible stories about AI uh, being able to put the face of a young woman on in, in a, in a, in a bad video, in a prawn, in a prawn video. Uh, and uh, that video gets circulated around and the young ladies have never obviously done this and their family and friends are seeing that. And that's absolutely terrible. But one of the things that I did not see coming was the fact that the OnlyFans stars, and this is from Unilad, and I am not going to pull up this article because of the pictures in the article. If you would like to go see it, it is Unilad.com, uh, Artificial Intelligence OnlyFans Models, okay? So you can look that up, and that should take you to the link. But OnlyFans stars, jobs at risk as fake AI models could start taking over. Okay, so uh, fears of the AI takeover of the AI takeover has taken over the adult content world as OnlyFans stars worry their jobs might be usurped by artificial intelligence models. That's right, baby. AI never turns 30. Just remember that. Oh, God. And this is something. I mean, the OnlyFans addiction and the parasitic relationship that has infected our society and caused men and women to degrade to a point where the standard relationships between men and women are next to impossible now, I believe stem from all of this OnlyFans stuff and all of the e-thought stuff. And I absolutely think it's hilarious that these girls who were using their bodies to make a lot of money, and I mean, you know, good on you if that's what you wanna do, right? Who am I to tell you what to do with your own body? I disagree with it. I don't think you should do it. I think that there's a lot of other well-paying jobs out there that, you know, could treat yourself with a lot more self-respect. But when I saw this, I thought to myself, wow. Maybe if this happens, because think about this, and we've already seen the stories. We've already seen stories where moms out there to make extra money have had the OnlyFans and then it gets out and now all of a sudden kids in schools are being told that their friends have seen their mother online. And I was thinking about how normalized in society that phenomenon was going to become here in about five years. And I was just made me shudder. Like my God, you know, what the hell is the dinner conversation around the table when you've seen your neighbor going at it? Boy. But when I saw this and I saw how the AI, and don't get me wrong, AI is going to replace a lot more than just the online thoughts. But man, I, I, I didn't expect, I did not think about the Terminators going after the thoughts first. When Skynet takes over, nobody thinks of, well, how did Skynet change the online adult entertainment sphere? Nobody, I need to see that movie. Well, wait a minute, that movie probably exists. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to see that movie about how Skynet took over the adult uh, online entertainment first and then took over the rest of the world in the Terminator movies. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if this is something to be celebrated or something to be feared, but I, I will always, always, always celebrate the idea of any reason of women stopping showing themselves online like this especially because it's it's not the same as the as the nudie mags when we were all growing up it's it's getting pretty crazy 
you know, and as a dad with four kids, uh, I want to keep my kids away from this stuff because I was exposed to it when I was much, much younger and uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing, and I want to make sure that my kids are not exposed to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this topic. Let me know how you feel about this. Comment down below. Tell me, do you think it's funny? Is it scary? Where are you at on this whole situation? And I do hope to see your comments down there because I dedicate a special live stream to you every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. And it is called Sunday Coffee, and that's where I go, and I read all of your comments down below, and we get to talk in the live chat. So if you guys like what I'm doing here, never forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description, and you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have... Over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origins, Skunk's Workshop in the Gold Tier. He is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy. Kiko Mon and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel. And I will see you all in the supporter live streams.